Hey guys, lately I've been using a new build for Granger. I think it's much better than the previous one. With this new build you can easily burst the enemies, which you will be able to see throughout this game. To in this match, nothing much happened in the early part of the game. Until minute 4 when the first team fight happened. Although we already lost two of our allies, I saw that they wasted a lot of their skills and old. This is still a good fight to take. One step ahead, no jutsu. I cannot believe I missed that. I even predicted his old trajectory. What a shame. At this point, I'm quite fed already. So I just want to keep putting pressure on the enemies and force them to fight us. After getting double triple kills in such a short time, the enemy just conceded defeat. Since this was such a short and easy game, I will include another Granger's gameplay that is a bit more interesting. This game was even more interesting because my tank and support seems to be a little bit inexperienced, so I won't have the easiest time farming in the early game. Hilo used the healing spell when we already cleared the minion wave. He should use it when we are either taking the jungle or just save it. Because I will regain most of my HP after clearing the jungle anyway.
You're dead. The tank and support should gank the bottom lane instead of top because their marksman is in the bottom lane. When the enemy has a marksman, it's much better to shut down their carry instead of the fighter or mage. Their marksman is getting quite fed and Matilda seems to be frustrated because of that. I'm trying to shut her down before she gets even more fed, but it's quite hard to do that by myself when the tank and support are not following me. I was surprised Matilda decided to go in after we saw Harley in the bottom lane. I thought Harley already had used his ultimate, but I just got completely outplayed. Well, now that we have given them enough advantage in the early game, it's time to stop messing around. Winky face. After being down 3 to 8, the tank and support have finally joined me, and this when we shift the momentum of the game. Now that there are two enemies dead, and there's one in the top lane, we should definitely play a lot more aggressive and try to push their middle turret. Here, you can see through my positioning that I'm trying to play extremely aggressive, because it's only Diggy and 1-1 defending it. But unfortunately, my teammates are playing too passive, so we didn't manage to gain a huge advantage. It's a bit too late to play aggressive now, because their other heroes have respawned already. Remember, it's all about timing. I saw their marksman is in the top lane, so most likely she will try to farm the jungle as well. I'm paying to gather, but the tank doesn't seem to like me too much. Understandable, have a nice day. Screw the tank, if he's not going to follow me, then I have to take matters into my own hands. Even though I have the dash ready, I'm going to wait and see if I can bait Harley's ultimate. 
I just want him to waste his ultimate, so then we can kill them without too much worry. They are chasing Harley, but instead, they should be securing vision and wait for an ambush. The rest of the enemies are in the bottom lane, so I decide to keep chasing Badang. Remember, when using Lunox, if you're not in a team fight, always try to keep it at one light bar. My whole team is dead, so it was very risky to try to 1v2 them. Harley might still have his ultimate. Your I will wait until Harley is a bit closer and attack him right after he had used his first skill again. I was trying to reconnect the cable, so I was a bit flustered that there was a team fight. I definitely could have killed Tigreal there and potentially outplay Harley, but I was a bit frustrated that the cable kept getting disconnected. Sad face. Mathilda doesn't seem to care that the whole enemy team is missing, and she is right close to their base. Is she just fearless, or perhaps she's just baiting the enemy? I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing, thanks.